Yammers, bow down. To your king. The king approaches, Yammers. Please bow and show proper obeisance to the king. Who approaches? As I'm in the middle of the screen <laughs> as the king. Behold your king in all his glory. The king has arrived. Yammers, please bow down. Down now. Hello. I, I forgot this. <laughs> I forgot the Olive, I'm sorry. I know that you don't like it when I yell. But I'm the king, and so She's I have not used to, to it. I have to yell, I'm the king. The king yells, it's what they do. Hello, Yammers, welcome to the king stream. Hello. I'm not a short king. I can't I can't claim that title. Mm-mm. I'm You're just a I'm just a normal king. I guess I'm tall. I'm You're taller, taller than, average. than average. I'm the taller than average king. Yeah. But I can't be a short king. It's the one thing I can never be. Taller than average king. I give short energy sometimes. Oh. Honestly, that's fair. That's in the court of the Crimson King. Oh yeah. Thank you. The taller than average king. Oh. That album rips. Am I, I a short listen. king? I no, I'm taller album. than average. What yeah, the you're hell? also taller than average. I'm five foot seven. I think everyone on Droppy is taller than average. Yeah. We got no short kings on Droppy. The only thing short about me is my last name. Nice. Hey. Uh. There we go. Yeah. Julia's hand is hurting. I didn't want to. Yeah. Didn't want to cause any more problems for Julia. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate the people who are complimenting my hair. Doesn't it look nice? I thank you very much. And and really, I only bring it up because I want to share with everyone something that brings me no end of joy, which is that the product that I got to put in my hair to make it curly is called motion lotion. And so now whenever I do my hair... I get to get out the bottle of motion lotion and apply it yeah. directly to my head. Very good. When I was at the barber, they told me that they were going to put in some motion lotion. And I was like, there's no way that's actually what it's called. It's got to be a joke. And then I looked at the bottle and it said motion lotion on it. The stupid thing I like about it is that it looks like a ink refilling cartridge. It does look like an ink refilling cartridge and it's called motion lotion. It's wonderful. So in case anyone wants to make their hair curlier, I recommend the motion lotion. Before we start this game today, I want to apologize and thank our wonderful mods. Yes, thank you mods. I know this game has a lot of chat commands being put in. And so the, the chat's gonna be filled to the brim with people typing all manner of nonsense. Do your best, but you know what? We're just, we're trying. Yeah, I think it should be. It shouldn't be too bad. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Because everyone's going to be too busy typing chat commands to say anything stupid. Happy and get birthday, banned. Zappy! Happy birthday, Zappy! A wonderful mod, Zappy! Zappy birthday to you! Olive's trying to get to you. Hi, Olive. Come on over. Come on over. Where is she getting to you? I would prefer it if she got to you. Yeah, I think she does one over here. She's thinking about it. She's considering. She's really, no. Um, also worth noting, so we're playing King of the Castle today, which is a game that all of chat, you get to participate in it. You get to be part of these different kingdoms and you get to vote on what the kingdom does. And I'm the king, but you get to vote. Are we? Sorry. Are we what? Are we the king? Are you the king? Because it seems like Olive rules here. Well, Olive, she rules, but in a very limited capacity. That's true. I don't think she's capable of governing a land. I'll say that much. I think she's capable of doing whatever she wants within her realm. If anybody got slightly too loud, she'd leave. Yeah. The um, but also I installed the, there's a Twitch extension 
There's like a million motorcycles going by right now. Do you want me to close the window? No, it's fine. Okay. There's a Twitch extension that I installed that supposedly when you when you join a faction, it's supposed to have like an overlay or something that like lets you know what faction you're in and and what your faction's goal is and stuff. I don't know exactly how it works. It said I didn't have to configure it at all. So it's really just up to it if it's gonna if it's gonna do that. But I did install it. So it's there, yep. you see the overlay working for me so far. Oh, the overlay's over Julia's face. Okay, that's good. I can't see the overlay. Should I look so I can like make adjustments? I guess it's for desktop only. I guess I can't look. Do, do I need to, to like, my computer? do I need to move the camera or something? I mean, once the camera is small in the corner, I'm sure it'll be Oh, then fine. it should be fine, right? Yeah, it'll just be over the game. Okay. Then it's up to you. You have to do it. Uh, but for now, we're going to play the, the dang game, I think. Why Apparently don't we? Apparently, people can click it to minimize it. Yeah, there's a button to toggle it. So, as long as some people are seeing it, then I say it's working. And I'm happy with that. I'm pleased with that. Uh, let's get into it. I've never played this before. I watched a little bit of like some other streamers playing it and it seems like a really good time. Sorry, Olive. I put on headphones and that was too much for you to handle. <laughs> now you're <laughs> out of here. She's a sensitive baby. It covers about half of Julia's face if that helps. Which half? My good half? So if I go like this. My good half or my bad half? I mean, again, oh, it should well, again, be fixed. We've, we've moved, so yeah. it's fine. Everything is fine. I'm not worried about it. I love colorful medieval. Oh, yeah, me too. It's one that people don't do enough. Sleeping Beauty did it, which is why I love it so much. They did such a good job. I've already designed my king to look like me. Here I am with my beautiful crown and my, my golden chain and my golden sash. The sash of the king. Monarch name King Jacobius 14 Dynasty name Jacob yeah, yeah, nation <laughs> of the Jacob dynasty <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. They I wasn't sure how I was going to format it. Of the Yam Yam. Yam. <laughs> Yum. Oh, I like Yamite. The Yamite dynasty. Oh, yes. King Jacobius. Monarch King Jacobius. <laughs> the 14th. I'm the monarch King. I'm the Monarch King. You're the King of Monarch Butterflies. Of the Yamite dynasty. Oh, now I'm King King. <laughs> Wait, so if I'm they, them, I become monarch king. If I'm she, her, I become queen king. <laughs> go off, queen king. And if I'm he, him, I go king king. I want to be king king. That's what happens when you do a toast and you're done with the toast. You go king king. King king. I'm king king Jacobius the 14th of the Yamite dynasty. Let's begin. <laughs> We're playing on Twitch. Mm-hmm continue I've already got the twitch extension don't worry about that choose three regions okay so we got the barons of the march a brash rural lords famous for their belligerence and fondness for hunting chiefs of the north are honorable warriors renowned for their pagan religion and prowess in combat counts of the east I can already tell you we're gonna have to have them involved mm -hmm. Ruthless aristocrats steeped in secrecy. Allegations of forbidden rituals are unproven. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Grandees of the South. Impassioned duelists known for their strict adherence to honor, etiquette, and the ninth god. That is actually, that, that would be mine. I, I like them. I, I love like them. that. That's very down, up my alley. The patricians are wealthy seafaring merchants noted for their cleverness, skill in negotiation, and ornate masks. Ornate masks! You got me. You won me over. Yeah. We're going counts, grandees, and patricians. We go for secret secrets and more secrets. Yeah, I love secrets. Secret sleepovers, in fact. The grandees of the South, very me, let me tell you. I, I was obsessed with the rules of chivalry until I was like 14. Your nobles may now join via Twitch chat with exclamation point join, followed by pronoun, example, exclamation point join she, 
Players can join mid-game and their wealth and region are saved in continued games. So go ahead, exclamation point join and a pronoun. And these nuts. Oh, okay, here yeah. they come. Here they come. Wow. So many of you. So many joining the various factions. You'll love to see it. I guess we'll wait for a sec before we. Yeah. Wait till it slows down a bit before wow. we jump in. So many people coming in. Each faction's gonna have more than a hundred people. I'm I'm but one king. How do we roll this many people? Well, I guess that's what every king does, huh? This seems implausible to rule this many people with one set of rules. I just love seeing people popping up. This is mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. While the flute music jams out. A lot of first time chatters too. Happy to see the first timers joining in. Please welcome. Welcome to my dynasty, the Yamite dynasty of King King Jacobius the 14th. How is it? Julia brought us some Japanese beers from the Japanese grocery store. Japan's first microbrewery. Whoa. Ichigo. It tastes, there's like something in there that tastes, there's like a, there's like a fruitiness in here. I'd like to try. Please do. I really, I'm very into that one. You wouldn't like this one. No, the matcha IPA. It's good, but it almost has like a licorice-y vibe to it. Mmm, don't, don't love that. Oh, that's nice. That's nicen, a nicen vicen. There's like almost a soda quality to it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and begin because it said you can continue to join. Oh, look, when I mouse over them, I get to see their noble, whoever it is. No, fun! I think it's like randomized if you don't have the game, but if you do have the game, you can set your noble, what they look like for each faction. Oh. So that when you play like on with other people, you have your own personal noble involved. That's very cool. All right, let's just get going, huh? Wow, we're gonna have almost 300 people per per groups. And you can keep joining as the game goes on, of course. Yeah, keep on joining. I love these illustrations. The illustrator did a great job. Okay, King of the Castle Primer. Monarch winning. Acquire an heir, then complete your ambition to win. Your first reign will likely end in disaster. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Monarch schemes. Keep an eye on the region's schemes. If they pass all their stages, they'll win the game. Okay, I'm watching your schemes. Monarch Defiance, be careful of the region's defiance stat. If it gets too high, all the regions may rebel against you. Okay, so this is my what I'm doing. Okay. And this is what y'all are doing. So pay attention, everyone. Open your ears. Nobles, winning. To win, pass all three stages of your scheme. Each stage requires you to get stats to certain levels which are affected in votes. So you got stats that your faction wants and you want to get them. Um, nobles, voting. How you vote is up to you for your region's scheme to stop other schemes or for the good of the kingdom. Mm. Nobles, rebellions. If your defiant stat is high enough, you can rebel. This pauses your scheme and is risky, especially if you have low military. All right. Interesting. This is like a massive board game. Yeah, that's supposed to be vibes. like the vibe of it. Yeah. Each season you'll each season you'll get three events to play. Click on one to get started. So it said if you don't know woof, what faction woof. you're in, if you're on the desktop mode, you can like bring back that thing. And it tells you like how much money you have and what faction you're in and all that stuff. Yeah, there's an overlay for uh mm -hmm. for the factions. Whoa. Ooh, I like Whoa. that it like kind of- Yeah, it's like a little tilt and pan. Yeah. Okay, so we have council introduction, coronation, and the path to victory. I guess let's start with council introduction. All right. This is your monarch, the streamer's character. They'll appear in most stories, but not all. These are the kingdom stats. If any of them are at zero at the start of a season, the game will end. These are the region stats. Stats determine which events are generated. Okay. 
Yeah, defiance triggers a rebellion. I got it. You can scroll through the full list of nobles and their wealth here. Okay, great. Oh, that's you. It's Julia. Hey, I'm Hey, everyone. Here. Julia's here. Good news, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to read this as me, I guess. Yeah. Because uh, it's me. It's you. Now that you're the king, your first duty is to meet with the Council of Nobles. Your nobles hail from across the kingdom, the desolate east, the wealthy coast, and of course, the scorching south. All right. Well, let's start with the Counts of the East. Let's introduce... Premium Nobles. This is a player who has bought King of the Castle. They can set their customizations, get access to special outfits, and appear more often in storylines. So this is a real player of someone who's playing the game right now. Oh, very fun. This is Count My Mistake. Is the leader of Counts of the East. I love the outfit. My mistake. My mistake. My mistake. Good outfit pick, if you pick that outfit. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, your majesty. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. The hell happened to my predecessor? It's a very good question. I don't know that. Okay, let's see uh, Patricians of the Coast. Who's who's the, the leader there? Oh, Lo Lady Patrician Solo Azume. I recognize hey, Solo yeah. Azume. Love a the look. A pleasure, your esteemed highness. I hope to see our kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign. The Grandees of the South. So Azumay said, that's me! Grandees nuts. <laughs> Grandee Black Phoenix Knight. May the Ninth God bless your reign, your majesty. I trust you will conduct yourself with honor and faith. With honor and faith. Yeah, I'm sure I will do that for sure. Mm -hmm. Introductions are done. I didn't just say D's nuts. Yeah, I didn't just D's nuts you as you entered my, my throne room. The council hall immediately fills with raised voices as the nobles argue with each other and demand your favor. You sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. Well, so why'd you do it? Why am, why am I on the throne then? I would have heeded that advice. All right, let's let's hit up the coronation, huh? Coronate me. Coronate my ass. Your Majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. Why the hurry? To delay any longer would make the nobles restless. And when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. What the hell? Well, we wouldn't want that, I suppose. Get a hobby. As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. What? But it's my <laughs> But it's my coronation. coronation. I don't want to be a piss baby <laughs> king. I'm going to say, of course. I'm a mature king that everyone respects and loves. Of course. Shall we call the nobles in? Choices and stats. Certain choices will change stats. Some choices that do so will indicate this change here. Got it. Not all choices that change stats have these indicators, and they do not show the region affected. Mm. Okay, interesting. Voting. These are the upcoming choices your nobles will vote on. Each of these may change stats in some way. The monarch can change how a vote is run with a law. You may use one law per vote. Try using your veto on one option you dislike. When the vote opens, nobles vote using the command exclamation point vote followed by the choice letter. So for example, exclamation point vote A or B or C or D. Those are the four choices. But you don't you know the options yet, so don't start voting. So don't already. start yet. The vote is not open yet. We got to see what the choices are. The monarchs may close the vote anytime after all nobles have voted or the timer hits zero. Great. Okay, what kind of coronation should be held for the new king? Host a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. Guess so that's we lose money, but we gain stability, mm -hmm. which is this stat here. Force the commoners to swear a blood oath. Increases authority, but decreases stability. Mm -hmm. Throw the king into the river. Oh. Which increases stability, but decreases authority. Or the nobles must put on a vast banquet for the king. It increases farming, but decreases wealth. Farming. Yeah. So that farming would go up for the nobles if I did this. Also, we haven't started the vote yet, so. Yeah, the vote has not yet begun because I'm, I'm considering my. The monarch's vote, I don't think really helps me. 
the monarch marks their preferred <laughs> voting option and this gets one extra vote uh -uh. out of 1200 votes. I would veto one that we really don't want, like yeah. throwing us into the river. So if we get thrown in the river, I definitely don't want my authority to go down. Yeah. Because then people can start rebelling. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and veto. We're gonna veto throw the king in the river. We're not doing that. I'm not going in the river. Yeah. I have to maintain authority. Don't boo me. Stop booing me. If I lose authority, you can rebel. It's vetoed. Okay, we're gonna start the vote. Everyone get ready. What kind of coronation should be held for the new king? Start vote. 30 seconds remaining. You gotta vote fast. And remember that there is a, a, a lag between what's on the screen and between what we're saying and what you're seeing. So. So be sure to vote as quick as you can. Vote as quick as you can. So Lavish Parade is currently in the lead. You wanna diminish my treasury, do you? You cowards. That's a third of my entire wealth. <laughs> That's a third of my wealth. All right, well, the timer's up. It looks like it's going to be host a lavish parade. All of his back. Vast Banquet is the other one that it could be, but I don't think it's going to be that one. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Voting is closed. Your vote does only count once. We're hosting a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. There goes we're we're going to get third ripped. Of our wealth. Stat changes. This shows which stat has been changed and how much by. Treasury is now 200. Stability is now civil. Look, we're, we're all civil. It's 200 and 2,000 are the same number. Yeah, sure. The coronation is a great success. Jugglers, wine, fireworks, and feasts. It has an impact on your treasury, of course, but what well, doesn't? <laughs> anyway, I'm leaving. All right, now we go to the path of victory. The path to victory, even. Heir and ambition. The monarch must acquire an heir and complete their ambition to win the game. A Can spouse we pick is. Up with a bird? The heir? Yeah. Well, who's this bird person? I don't think the bird person is related. Can we get the bird person to be our. to give us an heir? A spouse is useful but not necessary, so. I need you to act accordingly on this stream, okay? Use the bird to go pick up a baby. I'm telling you, you need to watch your position. Like a stork. If you keep causing problems, you oh, might no. find yourself not necessary. Okay, let's see. Complete your ambition before a scheme or rebellion usurps you or before you lose all authority, treasury, or stability. Got it. What? It's the spy what? master. What? Your Majesty, the first few years of your reign are the most difficult. You're new and unproven. The nobles of the council will scheme against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet claimant in your place. How can I stop them? <laughs> oh no! To defeat their schemes, you must secure an heir and prove that you are worthy of the crown by completing an ambition. My question is this. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Okay, so I gotta set a goal. I can be a conqueror, that's not really my vibe. Mm -hmm. A peacekeeper is my vibe. Yeah. The greatest king who ever lived is my vibe, but not via authority. The father of the nation, the architect of a new golden age, or as a saint. I'm thinking peacekeeper or the architect of a new golden age. Or the father of the nation. Papa nation. I feel like I'm going to be the architect of a new golden age. Because if you get the trade going mm -hmm. and the money's flowing, yeah. ain't no one kicking you off the throne. Ain't no one can throw a bunch of lavish parties and make you broke. No, everyone is too busy having their own parties. They're spending their own money. They got their own stuff going on. They're not worried about me. They love trade. They love to get the stuff. A lofty goal indeed. I suggest over the next few years, you focus on improving the kingdom's overall trade as much as possible. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. End season. Now that you've played all events, advance the game by clicking end season. You got it. Easy. 
Each region will now vote for one of three randomly selected schemes. So this is where you begin scheming. <laughs> schemes are made up of three stages with specific stat requirements. Passing all three scheme stages places the region's claimant on the throne, winning the game. Zorin <laughs> of the Squee Potatoes Dynasty. Beautiful. Eccentric Eastern Enigma leans delicately on a podium, sighing. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was on its own proud was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false King King Jacobius the Fourteenth wears the crown. Voting is open. Oh my God, that happened quicker than I thought. Okay, here's vote, your schemes vote, vote. for the counts. Counts vote on your schemes. You got a blood ritual, an ascension, and a possession. I'll leave it open for a while. So for blood ritual, you're gonna have to get the highest farming. For ascension, you're gonna have to have the lowest faith. And for possession, you wanna have low defiance. I mean, it's looking like it's going to be a blood ritual. I, I could have guessed. I could have voted for you and, mm -hmm. and known you would have chosen blood ritual. Yeah. Bunch of bloodthirsty animals in chat. All right. Blood ritual it is. That's your scheme. Voting is closed. Your goal is blood ritual. You want high farming. That's your goal. That's you. No, it's you. Is it? You literally just read as this guy. Oh, but it says the Count's plan to summon, so I thought it was you narrating. The oh. Count's plan to summon an ancient famine demon that would maybe devastate. Maybe it is. Devastate all other regions, <laughs> paving a clear path to the throne. First, they must ensure the East can withstand a famine. I think this is me. To advance their scheme, the counts must be the region with the highest farming in four seasons. So you got four seasons to get to up your farming counts. My bad, I misunderstood. That's all good. The Grandees! Torcada of the Fear How It Heals lineage. <laughs> Infamous Southern Elder stands bathed in sunshine, ranting in a fury. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the South, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it to go unanswered. All right, grandees. Get ready to vote on your scheme. Oh, yeah, and you can only vote if you are in said faction. Yes. All right, voting is open. Your three schemes are subterfuge, doppelganger, and fervor. A little, a little less clear than the Count's scheme <laughs> of blood ritual. Yeah. I don't know what fervor means. Like a fury, like a... Like a righteous fury. Yeah. Ah, they're leaning doppelganger. I love that it was almost like the Battle of the Farmers for a second there. Yeah. Everyone wanted to farm. Oh, there's the ads are going to start in. Yeah, I see that. Oh, okay, cool. All right, this is clearly going to be doppelganger. Whatever that means. Yep. You probably want to put a, a fake me on the throne, you nasty freaks. Voting is closed. Doppelganger. Goal, lowest defiance. The grandees plan to swap the real king for a perfect doppelganger. First, they must gain the trust of the spy master. Wow. To advance their scheme, the grandees must be the region with the lowest defiance in two seasons. So that means you're not going to be defying shit for these seasons. You're going to be agreeing with everything I say. If you want to get a doppelganger on the throne. All right, we're going to take a quick pause before we move on because we have to run some ads. So we're going to run three minutes of ads and I'll read the subs and then we'll get right back to it. Here they go. Can you show my cute bears to the camera? Look Julia's cute got bears. cute bears. <laughs> There they are. Thank you. 
All right, let's read some subs. We got subs from Asymmetrical Leak, Arthamancy, RX Bonanza, Mercabre, Mito Mamdria, Mito Mamdria, Tooth Decay, Producers Fan Club, Morpheus Sync, Enigma of Fandoms, Professor Rad gave out five gifted subs, Devious Hufflepuff 4, Pedro VPW, CS Scotch 17, Science Side, Martin Bobom, Nikki Pond 96, Master Geeka, Cinder and Smoke, Spectral Cartographer, Ali Wrights, Pats for Patrick 213, Corvid, Itty Bitty Cowboy, Simbits YT, Moon Baby, Av Athena, Meepity Meep, Gibbs Smith, Barnabas DeGray, Ire Sprite gave out 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Dark Matter Builder Plays, Monsata, Lick the Cow Happy, Fire Spermy, Marrowtooth, Cornley, Andromeda Galaxy Cat, Axel McNeil, Ego Debol, Katie Maybe, Nathan raided us a while ago. Thank you, Nathan. Tezeli, Omnipresent Ocelot, Laziest Lord, Heartvale, Boona Bloom, Gelatin Boy, Iridescent Lily, Goosebear99. Corvid gave out five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Gpel47, Osu Blazer, Confetti Rocket, It's Spooky Kabuki, Seashell2812, Garrulous Monolith. For the love of pizza, Dorkstash, Stellar Sorcerer, Procrastocrafting, Trout Shaped gave out five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Darkwolf1887, Lord Makla, Frog House. That's three days ago. Back to the top, back to the top, back to the top. Chicken Flavored Noodle Nips. Enrico11, Adam's Too Much, M.H. Oaks, Smaum, Vampire, Vampire Enchantress, Mns9999, Kingdom and Julie. And we got some from That Guy43, Tonka Tough Badonka Donk, Erica Oh No, and Johnny Snacks, and Augie Froggy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all so much for your subscriptions. We appreciate it very much. <laughs> Jamie, we see your sub. Your sub wasn't we being read? We appreciate you. Yeah, I think they subbed before the stream started, so it didn't show up or something. It'll show me ones from three days ago, but not ones from moments before the stream started. Um, also, thank you to Grammarama Ding Dong for subscribing as well. And too many elves. Just checking. I'm making sure because people always say I didn't read theirs, but I don't. Making sure I don't have anything like filtered that I shouldn't. You gotta make sure that you click like the the make visible or whatever on on y'all's end. I just read everything that shows up in my little activity feed. That's all I can do. Carol Altamonte, thank you for the sub. All right, we're back to the game. Ready for the third faction. Let's see what they're up to. Ooh, Nyx of the Gantrock family, charismatic coastal prodigy, scribbles with a well-used quill on a hardwood desk, speaking calmly. Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of King King Jacobius XIV. I mean, his name is King King. <laughs> that feels like a lie. Something must be done. Okay, patricians, time to vote on your scheme. You've got intimidation, conspiracy, or corruption. So if you're a patrician, get your votes in for how you want to try to overthrow me and fail. Pick your failure path. Remember, you can only vote if it is your faction. I mean, if you vote and it's not your faction, it just won't do anything, so. All right. Looks like it's like... going to be conspiracy. Yeah. Wow. Subterfuge, conspiracy, doppelganger. Mm. Which makes me think that they saw that my treasury already done went down. And they were like, should be easy to get it down further. We're up in our trade, though. Voting is closed. What do you mean destroy the capitalist king? Y'all are capitalists. You're ocean capitalists. 
You voted for conspiracy. Also, y'all need trade. The patricians plan to sink the king under an ocean of debt. To advance their scheme, the patricians must lower the treasury to 1,500 or less in three seasons. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no, king, uh -oh. king needs some money. <laughs> king can have money, please. Here you can review the region's schemes and their claimants. Okay. When you have an heir, they will appear on the right of this page. If your reign ends abruptly, the nobles will vote for the next monarch. The vote is between the two regions with the highest combined stats and your heir if you have one. Okay, interesting. So here's all your schemes, you nasty little freaks. Warning, the monarch currently has no heir. Yeah, I know I don't have an heir. I'm gonna get one, okay? Get yourself a baby. Here you can adopt a new law that alters how voting is run. You'll be able to adopt more once a year at the end of winter. Great. You can only adopt one new law at a time and you have a maximum of three laws to use. Okay. All right. Anonymous voting, how nobles choose to vote is hidden from the monarch's view. Why would I want that? Yeah, that's weird. Royal gamble, plus 600 treasury if the nobles vote for the selected option. If nobles vote otherwise minus 200 treasury, that's just guaranteeing they're not gonna vote for the option I pick. That's true. Although, since we know that the patricians want me to lose treasury, the other factions should want me to gain treasury. Because if I lose too much, the patricians are winning. That's true. The other fact, you don't want the other factions to win. You only want your faction to win. You only want your to faction win. to win. Monarch's golden choice. If nobles vote for the monarch's choice, they gain 500 personal wealth. Interesting. What does personal wealth do for them, I wonder? Because I don't even see like a personal wealth stat. Yeah. I feel like there's going to be a lot we'll have to learn through through trying. You can buy yourself new outfits. Yeah, anonymous voting is apparently for when you like play just with your friends. That makes sense. All right, I feel like It's a tough choice. I kind of feel like Royal Gamble could do some work. No, it won't do some work. It'll just make me lose money. But if I lose too much money, the patricians win. I feel it's like, like we gotta do go I, for golden choice. Do I count on the other factions not wanting the patricians to win enough to vote for what I chose so that I don't lose? So the patricians don't win. A lot of people are saying they don't care which faction wins, they just want me to lose, which I feel like is gonna make it pretty easy to make me lose. <laughs> Yeah, it goes against the game. You gotta want your faction to win. That's the crucial part. You gotta care about your own faction. We can't have 2,400 people bullying us. All right, we'll just have Monarch's golden choice. For two hours. Okay. Great. I'm ready for the next thing. The honor guard. Missing bees? A new trend. <laughs> Let's see what the new trend is. All right. Noble patrician Merotooth is here to see you, your majesty. They want to sell you a, a crab. A crab? Of course they do. It's the latest trend along the coast, your majesty. The patricians have started keeping a species of jeweled crab as fashionable pet. The creatures are so rare that one can now sell it for as much as a mansion. Crab. <laughs> Send them away and don't waste my time like this again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll meet with them. I'll meet with the patricians. I want you to remember this. I'll meet with you, okay, about the crabs. The, about the crabs. Who did this voice? This is a new person. This is oh. noble patrician Marrowtooth. Right, okay. And thank you for seeing me, your majesty. I know the price is steep, but I assure you these crabs will only go up in value. Our treasury goes down, but our wealth goes up? What the hell? What does that mean? I don't have a wealth stat. Do I? You gotta spend money to earn Is this like money? your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb? <laughs> wealth of the nobles? Your wealth goes up? I don't want your wealth to go up. 
Why would I spend money so you could gain money? Doesn't make any sense. I should make the sale of crabs illegal. <laughs> That's what I should do. <laughs> crabs are not pets. They belong in the ocean. All right, listen. I, if I if I spend a thousand, I'm below the limit that makes patricians make their schemes go up. So I'm not gonna buy the crabs, but I'm not gonna ban the sale of crabs either. Okay, I don't want to limit. Animals ain't fashion. If you want to sell the crabs, I, that's not my problem. Who's all right? problematic now? Who's capitalist now? Crabs, honestly. What does this kingdom come to? All right, let's check out the missing bees. Yeah. Your Highness, terrible news from the east. The bees have vanished. This is Count Z Nam Taz Nam. I think it's probably just Nam Tam. It's probably just Nam Tam. But I like the Z because it leans into the bees. But my breakfast, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but my delicious breakfast honey. I fear it has wider implications than your breakfast, your majesty. We counts rely on the bees for our honey trade. Oh. But worse, in the east, bees are bringers of good fortune. We look after them and they look after us. It's a grim omen indeed if they've deserted us. Our peasants are scared that we've offended the bees somehow. We must track them down. God, we're offending everyone. The bees. <laughs> okay, so we got a vote here. Okay. We got bees come and go, let nature takes it, take its course. Oh, but are, is our focus on farming? What's our focus? Our focus is on trade. trade. Which our trade would go up. We want to increase trade. That's our whole deal. But it also raises defiance. Defiance is pretty low right now, though. Um, send messengers to investigate other regions, which lowers defiance. Or ask the peasants if they notice anything wrong, which raises stability but lowers authority. Okay, so I can set a law. So if I set a law, if I put the monarch's golden choice on this one, mm -hmm. well, I know for a fact that the, the blood ritual people are not gonna want this because they need their farming. True. But everyone else might want it and you can get a little 500 something something if you, if you vote for it. This doesn't come out of my personal treasury, does it? <laughs> we'll find out. Well, this is a test run, okay? We're gonna find out how it all works. All right, so I'm I'm saying Monarch's golden choice is A. That's all I'm saying. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna cast the vote. This is a vote for everyone. Let's begin the vote. Here's the thing about letting the bees come and go. Who are we? to defy nature. There's no greenhouse gases at this point. It's the medieval times. We're not responsible for the bees going. I mean, listen, if you're not a count, where's all my votes? I think the mods had blocked the vote. Mods, I think the vote is still blocked. There we go. Now now vote. Now vote. We'll just leave it open for a little bit. Yes, of course. Bees come and go, don't they? We don't control the bees. Bees are a part of nature. If nature wants to take a little nap. If nature wants to take the bees, who are we to say? Who are we to say no to Mother Nature? We didn't tell the bees to leave. There are no pesticides at this point. We didn't do oh, this. Oh no, oh no, oh no. B is catching up. <laughs> continue, continue, continue. <laughs> well, I want to give them like a full 30 seconds. I feel like it's not fair otherwise. Okay. Now I feel like I'm going to lose. Yeah, you are. I could have skipped. I just want you all to know. I want you to see that as a king, I valued fairness over my own success. All right? I didn't stop the vote. I didn't Donald Trump it. I didn't try to stop the vote while I was winning. You know this chat sees kindness and goes, time to bully them. No, they'll remember. They'll remember it in the future. Time to bully this weak person. And if I wait a little longer, I might actually 
might actually, you know, if I just keep waiting a little bit, it might actually, you know, if I just give it like a little bit longer, it could actually, there's a chance it could actually, oh, I stopped the vote. <laughs> I let it go for so long, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it was perfectly fair. It was perfectly fair vote. <laughs> this is not, this is not vote. <laughs> you voted. You voted for this. As the Eastern beehives languish empty, Eastern peasants start sewing bee emblems onto their shirts in a vain effort to bring them back. All right, you've lost one farming, the East. Let that be a lesson to you. Still, other nobles profit from the situation. The Counts had quite the monopoly on honey, and this has given them the chance to get in on the market. Trade is now opulent. Trade is opulent on the coast, and trade is wealthy on the South. Fear grows more and more amongst the Counts, who complain that the Crown cares nothing for their troubles. Defiance is now a Your trouble are bees in the medieval times. The bees left you because you're trying to overthrow the, the crown. Because you suck. The bees saw what you were doing and they chose to leave because of how you were behaving. So. The bees can tell. Maybe you should behave better next time. Bees are smart. Honor guard. Ooh, I Ooh, love this Marshall. Person. Now that you are a king, you need personal protection. Why, I could plunge my sword into your heart right now, could I not? I suppose so. You need an honor guard to keep you safe from such dangers, your majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. What are my options? Each region offers a selection of elite guards. The count will not, the counts will, the counts with knights of the Order of the Drowned Rose. That was a lot of like with, of, of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The patricians with champion gladiators from the arena and the grandees are for the fiercest battle nuns. <laughs> Holy shit. From the Sisterhood of Steel. Battle nuns from the Sisterhood of Steel. That's pretty great. That's pretty cool. Think carefully, your majesty. These guards' loyalty, what is wrong with me today? These guards' loyalties they will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to coin above all. Tell me about the Eastern Knights. The Order of the Drowned Rose are highly respectable. They'll understand palace etiquette, but it's been years since they fought an actual battle. So not good at combat, but they do look like Vampire Hunter D. True. They mostly write poems these days, like the Vikings. All right, what about the coastal gladiators? A gang of low-born crooks who've turned themselves into celebrities through their skill at chopping other people to bits. They're vain and selfish. Their skill in battle is undeniable, but can you trust them? All right, tell me about the battle nuns. We got to hear about them. I want to see. Oh! Oh, come on terrifying warriors and they have sworn a vow of silence so at least they won't spill state secrets but their faith and loyalty is to the church above all even your safety i made my decision all you had to do was look at their cool ass garb <laughs> and you knew i await your verdict with bated breath your majesty battle nuns i will make the arrangements at once Oh wait, do they want low defiance? The grandees? What do the grandees want? How do I look Nuts. at that? Nuts. That's what they want? Oh no, I gave them what they want. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was freaking distracted by the battle nuns. They're too cool. Shit, I gotta keep in mind what everyone wants. The battle nuns arrive in the palace a few weeks later. 
They nod to you silently, their solemn steel masks betraying nothing before filing into formation behind your throne. That's fucking cool. Okay? I don't even care. At least care. you got style. That's cool and scary. Um, is this the end of the season? I guess so. I don't see anything else. How do I look at yeah, you the just schemes? Clicked it. You just clicked it. Have the lowest defiance. Shit. In two seasons. Okay, they want highest farming and they want the low treasury. Got it. Got it. You're welcome, grandees. Nuts. All right, end season. Grandees nuns. Nobles can use their wealth to bid on any building in any region, each of which affects a stat. This is done through an auction where only the two most funded buildings are chosen. When the auction is open, nobles can fund with the following command. Exclamation point, fund a X. Or fund A. A is the option, X is the amount. Mm -hmm. Personal wealth. So I guess that's what personal wealth is for. When you're ready, hit start auction to begin the auction. Oh, so these are our richest nobles here. 1,500 oh. gold, Danax, zero status, Crovert, Ambiguous, the Nicolia, Seashell 2812, Grimbake, Squessy, K386IMJ, Potato Knot, the Zacatron, Dr. Verbs. Okay, so here's your options. Counts, you can fund the Aqueduct or the Deer Park. Grandees, you can fund the Cathedral or the Monument. And Patricians, you can fund the Observatory or the Stadium. So we'll just get into it. Start the auction. Begin funding. Do we have a personal wealth? We don't need to do the do this. This is all that. All oh, right, because it's purple and yellow. So it looks like the um, the counts are dumping a lot of money into that aqueduct. Yeah, really. Because they want the farming. Yeah. Damn counts. Where'd you get so much money, Counts? Then it's looking like the um, cathedral. It's going to be the cathedral for the grandees, probably. Increasing their faith. Wow, it's a left side sweep, huh? Looks like a left side sweep situation. Had anybody, has anybody in chat read Gold Hand, Golden Hand? The, um, it's my favorite James Bond movie. Time's up. The the nun outfits reminded me of the main character when she gets the mask. I see some people saying that they read it. Yeah, I've seen. They a went few by I really have. fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we got two buildings funded. The aqueduct. The biggest contributor was Skin Chills. So thank you, Skin Chills. A hundred thousand gold put into this aqueduct. Y'all depleted your Damn. your coffers for this one. And the cathedral uh, is also the one that's getting funded. Someone said I did read Golden Hand, but I didn't love it. Admittedly, here's the thing about Golden Hand: I did not like it until about halfway through, and then I realized what was happening, and then I was obsessed with it. I didn't like the main character, which was my problem. And then I realized that you're not supposed to. And then I was all about it. Anyway. All right, we got a new season. We got finding a spouse. That seems important. Stargazing and a stinging problem. Are the bees back? <laughs> the bees have just gone south. They went on vacation. Let's see if the bees are down here. It is the bees. Having ignored the bee troubles in the east, you've practically forgotten about the situation. Until Grandee Ellie the Small stamps in, her face swollen and covered with stings. Those damn cows. I bet those, yeah, those bees of theirs just to trouble us. I did wonder what was going on with your face. Verily, it's terrible. By the night, those bees must be destroyed. No one dares to go outside. The markets are ruined. Blood and stars, these bees are our livelihood. If they are killed, they'll bring bad luck to all of us. 
then you should have taken better care of them, shouldn't you? Challenges. Some choices have uncertain outcomes called challenges. These can either be random or based on a stat. The percentage shows the chance of success. Interesting. So this is an 80% faith. Get the church to help heal the peasants is an 80% faith positive situation. Hmm. Like it's a faith role, I guess. But yeah, okay. Interesting. So our options are focus on luring the bees back to the east, which will raise and lower defiance for various places and lower the farming. I feel like that one is in our favor, honestly. Yeah. Because I think, because I think that the grandees want to destroy the bees and the, uh, the counts want to bring them back. So I think it would lower defiance for the, grand, for the counts, but raise it for the grandees, is my guess. I think that's probably true. That does sound good for us. Destroy the bees in the south, I think, lowers it for the doppelgangers and raises it for the counts. Yeah. You mean the grandees? Well, because don't the grandee aren't the grandees are in the south, so yes. it would lower it for them because they yeah, want yeah, to yeah. destroy the bees. You just call them the doppelgangers. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, because their scheme is doppelganger. Yeah. And then church is just a faith, a faith thing. All right. Well, I feel like maybe we veto the one we definitely don't want, which is B. Yeah. We're gonna veto B. We're gonna veto. We're gonna veto. And then A is the one we're that you know that we're hoping for. But all right, let's start the vote. Vote. Let's see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. Here come those votes. You don't want to vote C. You want to vote A. A that's is the only one. Like, that's a gamble one. The faith one. Yeah. If you vote A, if you're a patrician, you should be voting A. Because no one has really high faith. Because patrician, that will hurt both the grandees and the counts if you vote A. So I'm expecting 100% patrician votes on A. It's mm. close. It's hard. It's hard to know like when to stop. I feel like I need to like set a separate timer or something because like they're really close. I can set like a five second after the fact timer to help with the like delay maybe. Yeah, I feel like we got to do something. I think maybe I'll start a 30 second timer as soon as the first vote comes in. Okay, I can do that. But for now, do you want to just let's set 30 seconds from now. Okay. And then I'll click. Because otherwise I can just keep cheating like by waiting until it's what I want. <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> Which I don't actually want to do. Twenty seconds. Cause right now it's completely tied, so I feel like it's gonna be ten seconds. Oh, it's close. Five, four, three, two, one. Bam. Oh, baby. The vote goes for the king. Ah, nice. Luring the bees back to the east. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> I'll do 30 seconds after the 30 second timer goes down. How about that? Or no, do you want 30 seconds since 30 the first seconds vote? from the first vote? You got it. Some grandees grumble that they're not getting enough help from the crown. Their farmers resort to huge protective suits and hats, which hamper their work terribly. All right, we got some defiance in the south. Oh, they lost the farming too. Yeah. Meanwhile, the counts are grateful, but are desperate to figure out how to bring the bees back. Eastern folktales describe charms that can control bees. Hopefully the counts can find one before it's too late. Don't boo me. I'm doing good work here. I'm going stargazing. We didn't kill the bees. The other option was killing the bees. Grandee jazz elves. <laughs> <laughs> this simply can't go on, your majesty. 
These arch boffins think they know everything, but they know nothing of the ninth god's wrath. Hey, Scholar. Please, your majesty. We found a perfect site for an observatory, high in the southern hills. But it's on a grandee's it's on grandee jazz elves <laughs> lands, and she refuses to let us build there. Such things are heresy. The stars are just as big and close as the ninth god intended. Who put you up to this idea, hmm? I bet it was one of those counts, like Captain Cod One. Damn, coming for Captain Cod One. <laughs> Call him out. All right. All right. So we got. Should scholars be allowed to build an observatory on Jazz Elves land? <laughs> I mean, my instinct is to side with Jazz Elves just because I like them. Construct the observatory is a 70% authority roll. Find a different site for the observatory. Forbid the construction of the observatory. Lowers defiance and raises faith. Forbid construction and investigate the scholars funding. Me and my morals and not the game it just wants to go with B. Yeah, if it's Jazz Elves lands. I feel like we should have an observatory, but it doesn't have to be on someone's land. We don't want to lower the defiance of the Grandies. That's the one thing we don't want to do. So I'm going to, oh, I can't veto that. It's on cooldown. Observatories are cool. Then I'm going to make a golden choice mm -hmm. to find a different site. For the observatory. I'm getting the timer ready. If you vote B, you will gain personal wealth. 500 of it, in fact. Straight into your pockets. Let's go. And once we see the first I'm vote. I'm watching. I'm going. We got a 30 second timer going. I'm going to click continue as soon as it's up. 20 seconds. Ooh, people want that money. They want that royal money. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Boop. Voting is closed. Where, where were we? Big on B. All right. Huge on B. We're finding a different site. Huge on bees. You search far and wide for an alternative site in the Southern Hills, but the other grandees have similar concerns to jazz elves. Eventually, the scholars reluctantly build their observatory on the coast. Excuse me. But the lack of elevation and frequent rain from the sea mean that they make little progress with their stargazing. The hell? Listen, I'm not mega concerned about your stargazing. There, I hate there to tell no it to you. There were no other lands... And that whole country? Like, I know you want to gaze at the stars, but we got like terrestrial issues I think we need to deal with first before we worry about that. Within a few years, you imagine the place will be shuttered and closed. At least the nobles wasted their own money for once. All right, let's find a spouse. I'm ready. I'm ready to settle down. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master, but there's one person you can't avoid. Your wife. Meow. Oh, your mother. Oh. Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. I've been busy. <laughs> You'd better find the time. Don't worry. I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference? Men, women, or do not mind? Baby, I don't mind. Send me whatever you got. Excellent. I'll send out messages to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. I can't wait to find out who my spouse is. I guess that's the end of the season, huh? And so far, no one's made their goals. Don't. In the south, beneath a scorching sun, grandee realistic dog is strolling through his vineyard in the company of a few close friends. Grandee realistic dog. You said you had a surprise for me. Indeed, and here it is, behold. This is grandee Jupiter. Oh. Jupiter. 
Your Majesty, what are you doing here at such an hour? I'm sorry, I hope you didn't overhear any... No! <laughs> Quit your babbling, you blowhard. This is the king. is a peasant who's the king's spitting image. Got above! And just in time, the spymaster trusts us so much that she's not noticed we're fortifying the border. Oh, South's military going up. Damn. That means we can move to the next phase, kidnapping the king and putting this fool in his place. How do we manage that? We need the kingdom and other, 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 other chaos. Bad enough that the king's abduction can slip past unnoticed. For the next stage of their scheme, the grandees must lower stability to four or less in four seasons. Wait, so did they stage two on me? Perhaps. Here you can set different levels of tax or bribes for each region in your kingdom, potentially punishing some while rewarding others. Wow. Balance the needs of your treasury against defiance changes. Remember, if a region's defiance is higher than both authority and stability, they can rebel. All nobles gain wealth here, but one region gains extra wealth with a trade bonus. Regions with a high... Yeah, hello. Why do you sound so haggard? Why do you sound so haggard, Miss Joy? Regions with a higher trade stat are more likely to get a trade bonus. What the? Interesting. Oh, they did move to stage two of their scheme. Okay, we got to watch out for the South, y'all. <laughs> I mean, <yeah. laughs> The South is trying to rise again on our while. asses right now. <laughs> I've been saying that for a while. Freaking Fox News has been ye old Fox News. Okay. So what do they want now? They want to lower the stability of the kingdom. That's disgusting. I could cruel tax them as punishment. <laughs> as punishment for attempting to rise up. Y'all want to y'all want to taste some cruel tax? This is what happens when you proceed to scheme level 2, you get cruel taxed. I'm not bribing you. I'm punishing you. The grandees receive 500 wealth from the ninth god. You suspect tax fraud? I don't think so. Mm -mm. You're taking the cruel tax. Counts and patricians, you're still cool by me at this point. I confirm. Yeah, you can raise your defiance. See if I care. <laughs> cruel tax me, baby. <laughs> I don't like it when you enjoy it. The crab bubble bursts. Oh no, these fucking crabs. I should have made it illegal to sell crabs. Now I gotta deal with this? Fashion should be illegal. Just using animals as fashion should be. Uh, bad news, your majesty. A new reef has been discovered which is overflowing with millions of jeweled crabs. Crab prices are crashing at, at, at ca catastrophically. <laughs> Catastrophically. <laughs> you really like hooked on phonics through that word. <laughs> Crab. Crabastrophically. Crabastrophically. <laughs> <laughs> How could this be? The entire kingdom will suffer financially, Your Majesty, with the exceptions of a few patricians. Patricians? You asking for a cruel tax? Yeah, you really NFT'd this bitch. Curiously, a uh, noble patrician Merotooth, the very same patrician who first began the crab craze, recently sold all the crabs at a huge profit just days before the crash. Oh my oh, god. They are NFT crabs. It's huh? cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. So everyone's wealth decreased except for Merotooth. Who gained a shit ton of money? Marrow tooth. Marrow tooth. We're explain yourself. You. Mods ban marrow tooth for chat. <laughs> wow. Rude crabs. Something must be done. You summon your council to discuss the crab price crisis. Crab price crisis. <laughs> Many assembled nobles have invested heavily in the crab market, and they are casting furious glances at the patricians' benches. 
Okay, here we go. We got options. We can bail out the failed businesses along the coast. I don't believe in bailouts for businesses. If you, they, they need to freaking bootstrap their own asses <laughs> if they want to, if they want to remain competitive in this market. I'm not giving up 2000 treasury. I give up 2000 treasury. I'm basically letting the patricians That's sweep what the in patricians here. Want. That's what they want. Let the coast suffer the full consequences of the crisis. Trade goes down. That's bad for me. I don't want that. And defiance goes up. And defiance and goes up. But. Arrest noble patrician Marrowtooth and confiscate their ill-gotten gold. Uh, that one. But trade goes down. I need trade up. Not trade down. This makes trade go up. But I lose money. I can't afford to, can't lose, afford that to money. lose money. Don't we need stability? Because isn't that the doppelganger's current thing? Is is lowering stability? Yeah. Yeah, they do want to do that. Damn. They do want to do that. I feel like our only choice is C. We have to arrest. But this Meritude. also lowers stability. I know, but at least we get other things for it. I mean, it lowers our trade. This sucks. I got four seasons to stop them from doing stability. You're right. This is only the first choice. Do you think we should veto something or should we Monarch's Golden Choice something? I feel like we arrest Marrowtooth. Yeah. Get money. Yeah. That's Should we Golden Choice it? I think so. Because now then everyone gets money. The yeah. people that lost money get money. Yeah. We get money. Yeah. The only person that loses money is Marrowtooth who is an enemy of the people, of the common people. It sold everyone to NFTs. Yeah, the cryptocurrency. The cryptocurrency. Okay, we're starting the vote. And I have the timer ready. I'm going. And watch as the votes for C pour in. 20. People want that cash and they want marrow tooth to go down. 10. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Excellent choice, gamers. We're arresting noble patrician marrow tooth and we're confiscating their gold. Your soldiers storm noble patrician Marrowtooth's opulent mansion, arresting them and confiscating their ill-gotten crab gold. The trial will be held as soon as possible. Trade went down two. That sucks. From eight to six on the coast. That does suck. Defiance is now insolent. Oh, the coast is pissed. We gotta, we, we gotta stop ragging on them for a while. Stability is now stable. Treasury, though, is boosted. We love to see that. And we, we took a lot of Marrowtooth's money, which I also love. Outraged patricians protest that your actions are illegal and make a mockery of the law. Don't they know you're the king? That's right. You didn't get your money for voting for the golden choice? Oh, it's, it's in the mail. I promise, it's gonna be there, give it a week. <laughs> Expect a crab in the mail. All right, let's check our eligible options. I want to get a spouse. I want to spouse up. I have found, oh, this is you, oh. Queen Mother. I forgot what my voice was for it. I have found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. And a partner for life to have and to hold, don't forget. They're supposed to, but the alliance comes first. All right. Your mother leads you to the Great Hall where she's arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. I don't even get to meet them? There's no time for sentiment. You just need a match that befits your station and suits your political needs. She whisks away the cloth from the first portrait. 
This is Goldan, eldest son of the Eastern Pedagogy Dynasty. Apparently, they had a hell of a time getting him to smile for his portrait. He didn't. He didn't even smile. Also, he looks like some interview with a vampire shit, which I'm all about. He's smizing. He's not smizing. <laughs> He's just He's frown. He's straight smizing. up frowning, and he looks like... He lives with Antonio Banderas down in the crypt <laughs> underneath the theater. What is it, Joy? He bought a controlling interest in a silver mine in the East and made a killing. Half the East are in love with him, apparently, and the other half hate him. Interesting. So an intriguing candidate. I do like that he's uh, divisive. <laughs> he's hot and divisive and rich. You love that. If I like reject him, can I come back later? Can I come back to him later? Does anyone in chat know? I'm fine, I can come back. Okay, because I want to see all the candidates. From, Ooh. The, from the coast, we have Leon. Leon! We have Leon, help! The wealthy heir to Lady Patrician, Mito Mondria's estate. Sorry, Queen Mother's had a little bit to drink. I mean, just look at them. Uh, they're gorgeous, and apparently they've got a silver tongue, too. Mmm, silver tongue, you say? Their interests are typical of the coast. Money, 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 and making more of it. They, they're said to be led by their passions, living in the moment with no thought for their reputation. Oh, you love they, that too. They though. sound a little wild, which I kind of like as like a as like a royal spouse. Yeah. You got the one who's like buttoned up, that's me. Mm -hmm. And then you got my husband who's out there gallivanting. Yeah. A champion of the people, you know. Yeah. All right. Let's see the the last one. And finally from the south, Cardosa, the eldest daughter of Fantir lineage. She's reputed to have an ego the size of the sun. Well, there's nothing wrong with confidence, right? I do like confidence. She's an obsessive gambler. Oh, no. <laughs> A pastime frowned upon in the south. It's been the cause of some scandal. Unfortunately, she lacks the common touch. The peasants have some terrible nicknames for her. I don't like this one. She's an obsessive gambler that nobody likes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds like. Uh, I don't want to be with an obsessive gambler that nobody likes. That's a lot of work. I don't like the look of her. What do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. God, why did the gambler have to be from the freaking Grandies? They hate us right now. Now we're just going to make them even madder. Actually, well, the grandies, the <laughs> joy for fuck's sake! God damn it! <laughs> Thankfully, she didn't spill anything. This freaking cat! <laughs> She's giving me the big eyes from around the corner. What are you doing? She just jumped up and like slammed into everything she possibly could and ran away. Almost knocked over the phone, over Jacob's phone, knocked over his oh, bottle, almost into God. the other bottle. Okay. I'm tempted to say Leon. Joy said there was only one problematic queen here and it's me. Because the patricians are mad at us. Yeah. Oh, their farming is... Their farming is getting, is really high. I don't like that. I think it's gonna have to be Leon. Leon! Show me the coastal Wind. candidate again. From the coast, we have Leon. Yeah, we got this already. Their interests are super good. The they coast. like money. Money? And money. they like being passionate. Yes. And I'm the king, so I got money. And I think we could have an exciting time together. Let's take one more look at Coldon. This is Coldon. You've already read this. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Mother. I like to quit be repeating like, yourself. What's her face from Hitman? Oh, Joy's coming up again. 
Joy. Oh, she gave the cute chirp. Joy, this time. please. I do like cold on too, but am I doing this for love or am I doing it for, for strategy? You know. I'm going Leon. Final choice. Leon, Wed! Excellent, I'll make the arrangements. Take down the defiance a little bit, balance out the defiance, we love to see it. And I think we're gonna have Fickle a great time. Fickle the people. We've been screwing them over a little bit, but also we married someone from their country, so they're all about it. Make the arrangements, mother. Joy, what's going on with you, huh? She wants to sit in the lap at, by any means necessary. All right, let's see what's going on in the Eastern Ruins. What are you doing? Oh, it's Nam Tam again, the freaking bees. Your Grace. No, this is me. Oh. Your Grace, my researchers have uncovered something fascinating. We discovered the location of a bee charm. <laughs> It should bring the bees back from the south. Motherfucker. You your fucking bees. Why'd you call me over here for this? Seasons of this. Ellie the Small. Egad, get on with it then. We're cowering in our homes to hide from these horrid swarms. There's no way to live. We haven't found the charm yet, but it's said to be hidden in a ruined monastery. My soldiers are combing through it now. What monastery? I've never heard of. The monastery once belonged to the Order of the Conquering Blade. The what? They're long dead, High Inquisitor. Your forebears made sure of that. Because they were demon worshippers. This ruin must be destroyed immediately. It's too dangerous to stand. But this is part of Eastern heritage. It's not our fault they had some dubious practices. It's not like we're trying to do any blood rituals or anything. No, we would never do We a would blood never do ritual. something like that. Besides, we need this charm. I am with them tasms. Without the charm, we'll be terrorized by the bees forever. The council hall descends into argument as the three of them make demands. You call a vote to settle things down. Okay, here's our options. Never mind the demon stuff, find the bee charm. This will decrease faith, probably in the grandees, which I don't care about. It will decrease stability though, which the grandees want. They want stability to go down. And it will decrease defiance, probably in the east, mm -hmm. which is good. Loot the whole place, there's bound to be valuables there. Lowers defiance, lowers faith, raises money, money, money. That's not too bad. Destroy the monastery altogether, it's too dangerous, is a 40% faith roll. That's a gamble. A little bit of gamba. So I feel like we don't want to lower our stability, right? And we definitely don't want to raise farming. Yeah. So we're going to veto A. I think that's the move. All right. Does that sound good? Sure. Okay, the vote is going to start right now. Get ready on the timer. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm going. Vote if you dare, cowards. This game is very cool. Yeah, I'm having fun. This is good. Five, four, three, two, one. You're done. Let's go. Money, 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 money. The High Inquisitor sweeps out, tight-lipped and furious, and priests in the East become more aggressive in their sermons. 
Hi, Joy. She's going over to the left. Be careful. So the south has gotten less defiant. Unfortunately for her, it has the opposite effect that she hoped, and peasants start drifting away from the congregations. The east has less faith now. Meanwhile, Nam Tam's vassals return from their expedition with the charm along with a large sack of treasure. Some counts' wealth has increased. The counts take most of it, but donate a portion to the treasury. Most importantly, the bees quickly return to the eastern hives. Hell yeah, bees are back where they belong. The bees are back on the menu. We solved the problems in the south and the east. We're great. We're, we're a great king, honestly. Hi, Joy, hello. <laughs> What does she want? I'm sorry I yelled at you, but it's because you were being horrible. You are like a little goblin when you want something. You just keep going until you get it. You're spoiled. She knows what she wants, you know? She's confident. She's got confidence. All right, that's the end of the season. King King Jacob. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Terrible news. The kingdom prospers. The treasury is practically overflowing. I didn't expect the new king to be competent. Nobody did. We must work harder to bankrupt him. The patrician's aim is to lower the treasury to 1,500 or less. Patricians. Look at this freaking treasury. I'm rich. <laughs> Okay, time to tweak the laws. We're gonna get a new law. Oh, ads are going to start in less than three. Okay. Stop the count. The timer's set to 15 seconds and the bowl automatically close once the timer's over. That's too fast for people. Yeah. Most that, people wouldn't even get to vote. That wouldn't be good for stream. Um, I'm not gonna use any of these, honestly, I don't think. Well, maybe now that I have so much money, I could start, you know, doing some royal gamble, some gamba. Do we have to, though? Well, no, but I, I have to take something. Oh. And I'll replace, you know, monarch's vote or whatever. Okay. We'll take royal gamble. Yeah, I will choose one to replace monarch's vote. End year. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and run the ads, I think, and then we'll do this next year. Hell yeah. So we're gonna run three minutes of ads, starting right now. The ads are about to run. You can look at my cat. There she is. Take a look at my kitty. She's the only one I got. Well, we have two. Oh yeah. She's the only one I can see right now. She's the only one I see. Hello, buddy. She doesn't like Hello. when she gets yelled at. Hello. Sometimes. I don't think she cares at all. Yeah, I think she just wants attention right now. Whenever I yell at her, she leaves for approximately 30 seconds <laughs> and then comes back and does whatever it was she was doing to get yelled at. Joy does the thing where she does a thing that she knows will get her in trouble and she'll leave and be out of sight and then she'll turn around immediately and come back in like, whoa, what is like, happening whoa, what's going here? on in here? Whoa. That's so crazy. Thank you for the compliments on my shirt. It's from Banana Republic. Nanners? Nanners. It's very comfy. Nanners? Nanners Republic? It's like a thicker shirt. It's one of my faves. But she's such a sweetie. I can't be mad at her. She's cute. I'm petting her right now. You can't see. But she is down here. Rubbing her little chest. Oh, and her little hands are going. She's needed lots of attention today because it's been a little cold in here. And we were, we've been busy. And out of the apartment. So she's like, <laughs> where have you been? Yeah. We left for like one day and she's never recovered. No. She'll never financially recover from it. She's pretty cute. 
I see some people saying that they're enjoying the stream and that it's fun. Glad that you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it too. I'm sad Jacob didn't fall for our non-fungible crustaceans. <laughs> Very good. I feel like uh, this would definitely be a fun one to like return to at some point now that I am now that I know how it goes. Yeah. I also don't know how long the game goes. Like, will we be able to finish a full playthrough tonight? Do I need to increase the pace to, to finish a run? It's like three hours. You got to pick up the pace. My first game went over three hours. <laughs> oh boy. Can we save or can we like save and come back to it? It'll save. Okay, good. Okay, cool. Because we will. N I do not want to play three hours. No. Minimum. No. We'd have to have started a lot earlier. This game is one of those games that is phenomenal, and it's very clever, and I like it a lot. But is also one of those games that uh, is not for me. I think, on my part, like I wouldn't be playing it on my free time. But I'm glad that you are. And it's something I would love to watch other people play, too. Well, I mean, why would yeah. you be playing it in your free time? It's a party game. That's true. I just don't like when it, people get fighty in the chat at us. No one's getting fighty. We're having fun. Yeah. This isn't a game you can play in your free time. You have to play it with a big group of people. Yeah. I'm going to get fighty right now. <laughs> All right. I think the ads are over. Let's switch back and continue going. I mean, straight out the gate, we got to get the royal wedding done with. Are they going to have barbecue and pies like our wedding? Your wedding to Leon is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bertrand's Cathedral with Leon at your side. Do you take this person as your lawfully wedded spouse? I do. Sorry, I'm taking a picture of our cat. Then I pronounce you king and spouse. <laughs> That's the best way I could think to say it. <laughs> Joy! After the wedding, of course, there's a feast, and after the feast, a dance. Your new spouse, Leon, laps up the attention, delivering a witty speech in which they flatter you outrageously. Thank you, Leon. Thank you, Leon. All the defiance is going down. Everyone's having a great time. Stability's up. Authority's up. Damn. Everybody loves a royal wedding. This is a good wedding. No, the stability. <laughs> no, this is good for us. No, people in chat are writing, no, uh, the stability. <laughs> By the time you find yourself alone with Leon, it's past midnight. You've never felt more tired. You danced so very beautifully. It was such a wonderful day, wasn't it? I agree. It was a wonderful day. You endure a long conversation in which Leon seems determined to flatter you relentlessly and agree with everything you say. Leon, you got to drop, you know, drop the mask, so to speak. By night's end, you still don't know who Leon really is. Their real personality has concealed me the hundred layers of etiquette. You go to your separate bedchambers, still strangers. Separate bedchambers? What the hell? What the heck? This is not how I wanted this night to go at all. This freaking sucks. All right, let's 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 ease the tension. You have to write Leon upside down on a wall. Yeah, I do. To summon him. Your Majesty, nobles of the council, tensions are... Are we... Okay, never mind. Sorry, I was confused about the sentence structure. Your Majesty, nobles of the council, tensions are running high, but the kingdom itself is stable. Perhaps it is time we forget our past troubles and come together as friends. Count Space do Doubt Bass Pull. Spaced Out. Spaced Out Bass Player. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. It's a freaking wizard. What did you have in mind, Chancellor? We could exchange gifts or hold a friendly competition. Fashion show, perhaps. Or a game of riddles. No one bring any fucking crabs. Your Majesty, why don't we hold a vote on a team building exercise to help you and the council trust each other uh, again? How can the king and nobles reconcile? Why do we need to reconcile? Defiance is so low. Authority and stability are so high. We're all fucking great. We're chilling. What are we reconciling? <laughs> you don't want our crabs. I don't want your crabs. Your stupid bejeweled crabs. An exchange of gifts, a friendly fashion competition, a game of riddles, or this is a stupid idea. It's defiance not a stupid idea. Up. I don't want defiance up. I want defiance low. Yeah. I mean, a friendly fashion competition sounds fun. I feel like the one I'm gonna veto. Should I veto? Or should I like Monarch's Golden Choice, the fashion competition? Sure. But riddles, I don't wanna lose a thousand treasury, but I also don't want defiance to go up. So I'm wondering if I should veto one of those. Why does it cost a thousand gold to do a game of riddles? We're hiring the Riddler. A Batman fashion competition Riddler. costs 500, but a game of riddles costs a thousand? That's the real riddle. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna veto the riddles. Okay. We're not doing riddles. That's the only thing. Yeah. And I'm starting the vote. I posted a picture of Joy in the, uh, in, on Twitter, by the way. It's your SSS. <laughs> Riddle me piss. Okay. Fashion, 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 fashion. Sorry, Joy. 20. She doesn't care when she disturbs us. That's true. But she's just a little kitty. Look Which at how is tiny all her the brain time. is. 10. I mean, this is like no competition at this point. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. You're done. Big fashion. Big fashion. Huge fashion. You have to read. Wonderful. I'll make the arrangements at once. Cash prize, she'll go to the winning noble, I think. The nobles of the council begin murmuring, a fashion show? They better buy some new jewelry and dig out their finest outfits. Mr. Fashion. Buzzing in can't, the walls. Can't wait to see how the fashions go. Is this more bees? East, it's control probably your more bees. flippin' bees. I must speak with you urgently. Remember how Count Nam Tams went poking around in the heretical monastery of the Conquering Blade? Yeah, to find the bee charm. The charm did bring back the bees, but at what cost? It began with buzzing in Nam Tams castle's walls. Fans to weep. At first, it was only at night, but then it grew so loud the servants couldn't hear themselves think. We need that Texas bee lady. Then bees began dripping. Nope. Then honey began dripping <laughs> from the stone walls. Villagers started disappearing. Horrible things are afoot. Nam Tam strides into the council hall, wide-eyed, wild-eyed even. There's a strong smell of honey around him. I assure you, I am perfectly fine. This man is clearly touched by unholy forces. Chaos breaks out. In a moment of quiet, you call a vote. Damn. Okay, so we can have the High Inquisitor test Namtam. Namtam had the old honey. Yeah. We can search Namtam's estate, but that'll raise defiance. Or we can say this is blown out of proportion, which will lower faith 
lower stability, lower defiance, and raise farming. We don't want to raise farming because we, that would help We the cows. really don't want C. God, I wish I had my veto. I shouldn't have wasted my veto on the last one. I'm going to just place a golden choice. Search Nam Tams. Well, I don't want defiance to go up, but I don't care about faith. All right. So this is my golden choice. Have the High Inquisitor test Nam Tams, but I think I have an idea of how this vote is going to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Look at Joy's little elbow. Yeah. She's got such like a chill sit. Oh, I gotta get the thing. Oh no. Oh no. Other factions, why are you helping them? You don't want them to win. Well, they want to lower stability. Grandees want to lower stability. 15. So they also want this. 10. It, you don't have to. It's clear how this is going to go. Four, three, <laughs> two, one. Ah, this isn't what I wanted. Damn. The High Inquisitor is furious and priests preach about the dangers of demonic influence. Peasants grow worried and many avoid Count Namtam's lands altogether. The East's faith is very low. Stability is down. But bees love the place. More and more swarm, forming dark clouds around the castle towers. The honey harvest thrives as thick as sweetness, as thick sweetness hangs in the air. The East is now loyal, but their farming is up to nine! Damn. Grandees and patricians, can y'all farm more, please? Could y'all farm a bit? When Nam Tams ascends the council, he talks just a hint of a buzz forever after. God damn it! The famine begins. Late at night, two counts meet in an ancient stone cemetery to discuss their schemes against the king. Countess Cherry Scary. Our grain stores are looking much more impressive than the rest of the kingdom. Oh, yes. Count Don Sparrow. Yes, and I've had peasants from the coast moving onto my lands, desperate to sponge off our prosperity. How delightful, but won't summoning this demon be difficult? It's magic beyond our usual fare. The walls of reality are sturdy, but they can be weakened. A tide of blood must swallow this kingdom in its wake. Chaos. For the next stage of their scheme, the Counts must lower stability to four or less. God damn it, they want the same thing as the Grandees. This is bad. Defense. This is bad for King. Yeah. This is bad for King. This is very bad for King. Your Majesty, these upstarts are saying they have a right to your throne. No doubt the nobles are already scheming to crown their region's preferred claimant. Yeah, I know. And the Monarch has no heir. I'm aware of that, too. Oh, my God. If the grandees and the counts are working to this towards the same goal, I'm like... We're screwed. I'm ruined. I'm wrecked. But what about a fashion show? <laughs> you think that would help? Yeah. Oh, there's a few flags we got. Okay. You enter the council hall to find it transformed. The walls are bedecked with mirrors and jewels, and the long table has been repurposed as a catwalk. Your Majesty, welcome to the kingdom's very first fashion show. Remember, you'll be voting on which of these nobles is the best dressed. Lady Patrician Pudventures struts confidently down the catwalk, posing outrageously and blowing you a kiss. I do love the look. Good luck. I am fabulous, am I not? Very good. Next. Kant Sormerfeti sweeps down the catwalk imperiously, casting an icy glance in your direction. Love this witcher outfit, mm -hmm. witcher look. You'll vote for me if you know what's good for you. Splendid, stunning. Grandee Mero the Wanderer dances down the catwalk with a sword in their hand, fencing against an imaginary opponent. 
Once they reach the catwalk's end, they swish their sword over their shoulder and bow deeply. My current attire is practical and attractive. Bravo, a devastating display. And of course, our last competitor is the king himself. Get up on that stage, your majesty. I got a sachet with as much style as I can muster. You make your way, ah! You make your way down the catwalk, trying your best to project confidence, but you trip over your robes and face plant. Son of a. In front of everyone? Come on. Damn. The nobles can't stifle their giggles as your crown rolls away and you chase after it, swearing. Which fashionista has the best hair, outfit, and overall sense of style? So we got Lady Patrician Pud Ventures, Cunt Sormerveti, and Grandee Mero the Wanderer, or, or, King King Jacobius the 14th. Which I think you really need to consider that as an option. What is more attractive than um, comedy and relatability? And tripping on our face, tripping onto our face at a fashion show. That's relatable. And it's relatable. Get- I'm like the common people. Um, we're like one of you. I'm just going to run this one straight. I'm not going to do any laws. Let's just see what the people want. This one's this one's a fair fight. This one's a fair fight. Go ahead and vote. Can't wait for those King King Jacobius votes to come rolling in. I'm ready. I think they're blocked from voting. Okay. Okay, there they go. No worries. I got I got this. We got the backup. That's a pretty split vote. Yeah. Marrow the Wanderer currently in first place. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Marrow the Wanderer, congratulations. Who would have thought people would like the sword girl? Definitely wasn't on my list. Um, Was this me? Yep. Was it ever in doubt? Look at me. The counts and patricians mutter grumpily, but the grandees are ecstatic with their victory. The Chancellor looks on, beaming like a proud parent. Grandee Marrow the Wanderer, you got a bunch of money out of it, too. So much money. <laughs> Mello Wanderer, you've done it again. All right, let's see what's going on. Does that say the crab trial? It does seem like the crab trial, yes. <laughs> yep. Let's check out the crab trial. After months of delay, noble patrician Marrowtooth is finally due to stand trial for their crab-related market manipulation. You stand accused of perpetuating fraud and tricking hundreds into buying expensive crabs. How do you plead? I am guilty only of making money, so I broke a few laws along the way. Is that a crime? Yes, obviously. I pronounce you guilty as charged, and your fate will be decided by the king. Oh, baby. Mm. So we could pardon the defender. We could imprison them, which increases my authority. Or we could hang them, but that decreases my stability, which we absolutely do not want. I think, you know, you you don't need to be hanged for selling crabs. I do think you need to be imprisoned, though. Those are animals. You're sticking jewels on those wild animals. Noble patrician Marrowtooth is dragged away in chains, wailing for clemency. Most of the watching nobles agree that justice has been done, except for the patricians, of course. Of course. Coast is a little bit defiant about it, but I'm commanding in my authority. Good job. Noble patrician Waffle Fang, a new character. (laughs) Please, your majesty. Marotus has young children. Who is supposed to pay for the upkeep of their villa? 
Maratooth II has joined the council? Oh, of the... Okay. Oh, because I guess Maratooth was on the council. And so now Maratooth II has joined the council. Amazing. A helping hand. Leon! My husband who doesn't hang out with me. <laughs> King Jacobius XIV. I had something I wanted to ask of you. When I talk to you, my husband, I often use your full name. Yeah, you. you should do that. Yeah. What can I do for you? As you surely know, I run a very successful jeweler's guild back home in the coast. But the current laws are a little restrictive for my trade. Lots of tariffs and regulations. You know how it is. I was hoping you could push for some changes in the council. Eliminate some of the import duties on Ateshi jewels, perhaps? You want me to give the coast preferential treatment? I think it's only fair. The other regions just can't compete with us in the jewelry trade anyway. Leon? That's nepotism, my dude. That's nepotism. That's, that's corruption? That's nepotism? <laughs> we need it. Please do it. We need it. You're just using me, Leon. You're using me to make more money. That's all he cares about. He doesn't care about love. He cares about money. I'm not assembling the council. Forget it. We're getting a divorce. We're getting a divorce. Very well. Apologies for taking up your time. They sigh and withdraw. For the next week, they sleep and take their meals in another wing of the palace. They were doing that anyway. All right, freaking baby. You're like, do crime for me or else I will go sleep in another wing of the palace. Screw over the rest of your people. Give me unfair treatment. Fuck you. Give me pre preferential treatment. K-Dong would never. Freaking mess. 10.52? Okay. Probably get in one more season. We got an auction. Who wants to fund some buildings? And remember, you can fund buildings that are not necessarily in your region. So the Count's region, we got Observatory and Thieves Guild, which lower faith and trade. The Grandees have the Grand Bazaar, which raises trade, and the Prison, which lowers stability, which you don't want to do. That'd be bad for you. And the patricians have the deer park, which lowers farming, and the stadium, which lowers military. So we're going to start the auction. Begin funding. Once I see that money start rolling in, I'll start the timer. I can't control this one. It just ends when it ends. Oh, that's right. Okay. No, no, I think you're confused. You don't want to vote for D. Mm -mm. You don't want to pick D. D's bad. Y'all are putting a lot of money into D when I don't think you actually want, you don't want to do D. You don't want to do D. D's nuts. There's still time to pick other options. If everyone picks another option from now on, I think you'll be okay. But if you, if you keep down this path, It's not looking good. Joe's so puppy right now. Yeah, she's a little cat. Damn. It's not looking good for us. Well, I never thought I'd see the day that our chat would spend all of their money to build a prison. After all the A cab I see in this chat, they built two things a prison and a thieves and guild. and then what do y'all do you dump all your money into a prison a prison and a thieves guild what a combo you disgust me how quickly you change your tune chat not proud of this one <laughs> <laughs> for profit prison <laughs> About your heir. I gotta get an heir. And Leon, I don't think, is gonna be a part of it. Your marriage to Leon is already a disaster. Leon's they, been trying to use us. They can't stand the sight of you. And when you are in the same room, it somehow always ends in an argument and a slam door. The last thing on your mind is procuring an heir, but the needs of the kingdom must prevail. 
Congratulations on order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. Damn, I shouldn't have married Leon. This was a mistake. Yeah. Felt more like a life sentence than a wedding. Oh, don't be so dramatic. You've done well so far, but there's still, there's, but something's still missing. An heir. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the, do, do the trick, even if they're a bastard. Or the youngest of your own, of your many cousins. <laughs> Your reading is like getting worse and worse it's as this character. It's because I'm old. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Someone in chat said Leon asked you for literally one thing and you refused. Yeah, they asked me to commit like fraud, like or economic crime. Yeah, for like a whole region. Oh, okay. Let's just let's let's pull a Trump and put all of our <laughs> children on the council. <laughs> And then give all their their businesses a boost. <laughs> Every spouse asks you to commit corruption. <laughs> I have morals and standards, okay? I'm pretty sure there's a bastard child laying around somewhere. Get the bird to kidnap a baby. I plan to adopt a lowborn child from the orphanage. I think that's gonna look good on my on the PR for this situation. Yeah, uh, medieval people notoriously love uh, monarchy taking in lowborn children that aren't their own. No, they're gonna love it. Mm. Lovers will be too happy with a lowborn child being elevated to the status. Of, I forgot I was kind of British. Elevated to the status of royal. I urge you to reconsider. My mind is made up. I'm sure history will remember you as a champion of the people, if it remembers you at all. I'll make the arrange I'll make the necessary arrangements. My stability is not where I want it to be. <laughs> yeah. At the moment, it's at the worst possible place it could be. I think I'm gonna lose. Alright. A bizarre report. Your Majesty, I have received worrying reports. Worrying and confusing. Are there more bedazzled crabs everywhere? Well, I'm constantly worried and confused. Yes, Your Majesty, I did get that impression. I've received reports from one of my little birdies and grandee realistic dogs, Manor. He has a most unusual guest. Who? It's you, Your Majesty, or someone who looks just like you. I have no reason to suspect the grandees of plotting anything, and yet I can't square this away. What do you mean you have no reason? You just saw a doppelganger of me in their freaking house. That's Listen, a reason. There's a lot of people who look like me in the world. And if I took care of every single one of them, there's a whole tier list. But it'd be like if you found me in a different apartment with a different person who looked, I had looked and dressed just like you. That's true, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't devote too many resources to solving this puzzle with the kingdom in such a lamentable state. Too busy fighting fires elsewhere. I recommend you call a meeting of the council and try to do something to put a stop to this. Assemble them at once. Grandees, you have much to question. So we can triple the security around the palace, which lowers treasury, raises stability, and lowers authority. We can lose authority. Conduct a thorough search of the southern manors. Delay scheme for one season. But raises defiance. Or do nothing. Both of these are good for us. So I'm going to veto do nothing. You've got to pick one of them. You either delay your scheme by a season. Or you let me raise stability. At the cost of treasury. Damn. Pick your fate. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting. You have one job. I know. Along with all your other jobs. <laughs> I'll do like 20 by now. Looks like it's going to be delaying the scheme. 
They don't want to okay. give me that stability. Five. Zero. All right, we delay their scheme. Why are we delaying ourselves, grandees? It's a good question. It's a very good question. You send your best knights to kick down doors and rampage through the manors of the south, searching for your doppelganger. It doesn't accomplish much except ticking off the grandees. If this doppelganger exists, he's been moved to a safe location. But at least you've bought yourself some time. You've hampered the grandees' efforts. Their stat goal will not be evaluated until the end of next season. Blasphemy! Use the frickin' bees again? Your Highness, an urgent matter. My agents suspect there's a reason behind the recent unrest. The Counts are stirring up chaos to power some kind of dark ritual. Don't worry, I'm about to hamper the Counts too. What sort of ritual? We don't know yet. They've been too careful. But we must fight back against the sacrilege. All right. So here's our options. Kingdom-wide curfews raises stability. We can delay the scheme for one season mm -hmm. by sending inquisitors, mm -hmm. or we can leave the counts to their petty business, which is the only option that I, doesn't do me no good. No good, no how. So if we don't hamper the counts a bit, then the counts are going to I think when. You hear that other other factions? Or they'll at least make it to their third their third scheme. If you let the counts win this one. They'll get to their third scheme. They'll get to their third scheme. Monarch's golden choice, if you want a little extra cash in your pocket. I want the stability. Begin vote. I'm ready this time. I'm on it. A lot of people leaving counts to their business. We got a lot of counts in chat, I think. A lot of counts voting Ten. today. Five, four, three. Two, one, done. I don't know if that was a wise choice, voters. If you left the counts to their business, you're, you're inviting them to move forward in the scheme. The High Inquisitor storms off to her chambers, but there's nothing more she can do against the counts. End season. No to a, cat. a pair of counts face each other in silence. A code word is exchanged. They speak of their latest schemes. This was you. Good news from the capital, my friend. Well, bad news, but good for us. Oh yes, fires, wanton murder, giant spiders. All that and more. The fabric between worlds is wearing thin. The time is ripe to summon a demon. But which honored guest should we invite? All right, time to vote for which demon you want. There's Ankarazad, Lord of Dismay, the seventh god's smile, or Belfeminar, the hungering absence, queen of corruption. Do you want to lower your own faith or do you want to raise your own trade to summon the demon? All right, votes are coming in. Okay. You started a timer? Oh, I thought it was one of those automatic ones. Well, by this time we usually have 10 seconds. So. I don't know why I thought it was. Three, two, one, done. I was really hoping they would pick a stupid choice, but they didn't. Oh. They picked the smart choice. 
They've already got such low faith. And Karazad will never break through while the church has its claws in the hearts of the people. If we make this kingdom ideal for his presence, he will sweep through the land and leave nothing but grinning corpses. From one of these corpses, we will simply pick up the crown. For the final stage of their scheme, the counts must keep their faith at one or less for one full season. The end game. At least one region has entered the final stage of their scheme. If they pass it, they'll win the game. There are some exceptions. If two or more regions pass a final scheme stage, the winner will be decided at random. If stability, authority, or treasury hit zero and a final scheme stage passes at the same time, the scheme takes priority. If a rebellion ends with a rebellion win and a final scheme stage passes at the same time, the scheme takes priority. The monarch can only win in ambition events, which will appear after you've acquired an heir. Baby. Baby. All right, well, this is gonna have to be where we pause for now. Yeah. I feel like the counts are, are on a big lead at the moment. Um, so for next time we play, which, you know, I assume we'll just maybe just do next week. I'd like to finish a game. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all got to remember that uh, you want to get the faith on the counts up. We got to faith up the counts or else they're going to take it. They're going to sweep it. Uh, but this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. It's fun being able to play with chat and have everyone voting and everything. I'm sorry to leave us on a cliffhanger, but that's the way it is. Uh, other things to know, Friday is draw class. If you're at that tier on Drawfee's Patreon. Yes. And Karina's doing art critique. Yes. Um, and I will be there too. Oh, that's right. Also helping. Yeah. I'll be there going. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Haha. <laughs> um, I think we're going to raid What a Show. Only if you want. And that's how we'll end the stream. Thanks everyone for watching. Seems like Patrick's doing a Elden Ring randomizer. And then we will um we'll be back on Sunday. Yeah, with something. With something. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.